Today we're talking about the chain, 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 the recording chain, and really the lifeblood of what goes down on an album or a song. How important it is, the most important thing, obviously, is the player or the singer. But then in next in line, we talk about microphone, mic pre, uh, tracking compressor, converters. Today we're just going to talk about what is the most important thing besides the talent in that chain. And I'm going to get some haters, and that's okay. This is just an opinion and some experience. In my opinion, mic pre, mic pre, mic pre. And here's my theory on that. A U47 is $15,000, $20,000 if you buy a vintage one. A crap mic pre is three, four, five hundred dollars There is nothing that that U47 is going to do to that mic pre to make it sound better. It's not going to happen. The U47 is going to sound horrible through that mic pre, in my opinion. If you take a 57, which is the greatest mic of all time, you know what I'm talking about here, the fact that it's $100 and can do anything, if you take that and run that through a vintage Neve mic pre, your head will explode. How great that 57 sounds. That is my opinion. So I think it's talent, mic pre, wait for it, tracking compressor, microphone. Just comes from experience. When everything changed for me personally, as far as, you know, I'm not a gear guy. I'm a composer and producer, but I had to learn that stuff. And it became apparent to me that when I got my Mercury M72, which is a like a $3,000 mic pre now, maybe $2,500, everything changed. Every mic sounded great. Everything was easier. And if it sounded horrible, it was me, not the pre. And then on top of that, what really changed after that was getting my LA3A. So I have a bunch of pre's and compressors, but when I first got that top of the line M72 going to the LA3A, SM7B sound amazing, RE20 sound amazing, there's the SM7B, there's the Blue Kiwi, which is a condenser, sounds great. So the moral of the story is, in my opinion, talent, mic pre, tracking compressor, mic. You can buy a $1,000 mic, throw it through a Neve, and it'll sound so much better than a U47 going through a budget pre. That's just my opinion. Get the right mic pre, get a whole bunch of microphones from $300 to $3,000, but get that right mic pre and tracking compressor. That's it. It's the note of the day. I'm Kyle Quirk. Happy Friday.